Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Gabe with Indigo Software, genuine Microsoft software for less. In today's video, we're gonna show you guys how to try Windows Server 2022. Yes, there is a trial version available of Windows Server 2022. We're gonna cover what that is, how to get it, what the requisites are, as well as how to upgrade if you want the full version. Before we get started with that, if you're interested in purchasing a Windows Server 2022 license or a wide variety of other Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software. We'll put links down below. Without further ado, let's get started. All right, so right now I am browsing Microsoft's Evaluation Center. We'll leave a link for this down below, but basically this is a page that's going to allow us to download an evaluation edition of Windows Server. The evaluation is referring to our ability to evaluate and try by server 2022 out having a valid license. However, if you were to run the evaluation edition and then upgrade later, you can do that. The evaluation edition basically gives you pretty much full access for 180 days. Now, if you are installing and promoting domain controllers or doing anything like that, it may get a little complicated in terms of upgrading and licensing the full version. We always recommend building up your server on a licensed edition of Windows Server. Okay, so once you're on this page, we can download the ISO and we have a few other options here. In terms of our description, we can install an ISO if we wanted to do like a virtual machine, Windows Server 2022 Hyper-V. We could install Server Core or the version with a graphical user interface. And then we've got, of course, language options. We can also pick between the standard or data center versions. Now, if you wanna see a video on how to upgrade from standard to the full edition of Windows Server 2022, we have a full tutorial on it and we'll leave that in the corner above. Lastly, there are a few requisites. Basically, we just need basic system requirements. It'd be a 1.4 gigahertz 64-bit processor or faster, compatible with x64 instruction set, and a few other uh, requisites, which we can see right here. We need at least 512 megabytes of RAM or two gigabytes for server with desktop experience. More than likely, you have more than this. And we also need error correcting code. All right, guys, so that's gonna do it for today's video. Be sure to check out our other videos on Windows Server if you wanna learn more about how to upgrade, how to install, or just various other tutorials. We strongly encourage any specific video topic ideas you may have for us. And if you have any questions, feel free to put those in the comments below. Again, if you're interested in purchasing Windows Server or a wide variety of other Microsoft software, check out Indigo Software. We'll put links down below. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time.